Hi. Yay. Yeah, I, I mean, I read the script, Kelly uh, sent me the script, and it was just, uh, I thought it was amazing. You know, I thought it was really you know, just a page turner, just very, very fast paced, exciting. You know, I felt that the relationships were really special. Obviously, her commitment to it and to Venom uh, with Tom Hardy and, and how they've really kind of um, just worked on this world for so long and created this real space for this character, for Venom and Venom himself being so unique um, and, and special within the, the whole sort of universe of, of, the, of the comic book genre um, uh, was really exciting. And then, you know, the, the realities of, of this character, General Strickland, and, uh, and this brilliant cast that was coming together with Juno as Dr. Payne, and, you know, all of the kind of very um, sort of you know, very interactive details of that, uh, the drama of it, the emotion of it, you know, the, the action of it. You know, I just felt like it was just really exciting. So I was very, very happy to, to and privileged really to, mm. to get involved. What about you, Tina? I couldn't agree more, actually. I think the mm. script from beginning to end was a real, I mean, some pages you were exacerbated, being like, no, 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 no. And then you'd be laughing, then you'd feel really emotional. And then, you know, I think being asked to, to join this this brilliant franchise by Kelly and and Tom, who they've really believed in this in a way that I think is is something you don't always see with, with kind of superhero franchises. And um, getting to see the journey that has created so much joy for the two of them to work together, but also now that Kelly got to direct the movie and watching them collaborate and inviting us in to be a part of that really felt like a privilege. And and also I think, you know, from a standpoint of getting to play a scientific perspective within these um, Venom stories has been something really interesting because Venom is such a dynamic, delicious character that we all quietly want Venom, you know, of course we do. And so getting to be a perspective that is also really fascinated and in awe of this kind of symbiote relationship was something that I found quite easy, actually, because I feel the same way. <laughs> um, but then, you know, getting to work with someone like Chiwetel and not just work with him, but getting to do really good, meaty scenes where we're creating tension, but there's also an underlying respect, but then there's crossing lines. And, and that was a real joy, too, of getting to get, a, you know, to do some really great acting with someone like Chiwetel, who I've admired for a really long time, and then getting to do action and looking up at you and being like, that one felt like a doozy for me, how about you? <laughs> and creating a space that's fun and, and feels, you know, like you can have fun so that you can then also do the hard work at the same time. Yeah, interesting. It's like, it's a combination, isn't it, I think? I think, but for me, I was also very much like, you don't want to try and compete with Venom, right? You don't want to be as large as Venom, that would be, I mean, you'd fail. I think you'd get cut off because yeah. it would just be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> but, <It's the> voice. <laughs> but I think, um, you know, obviously, it's an area that's so top secret that there's only a certain amount of research you could possibly do. Because if you went too far, I, I probably would have disappeared, and so might you. <laughs> so I think, um, but. For me, I got to what I just, I did a lot of alien documentary watching to kind of fascinate myself even more with sort of extraterrestrial ideas. Um, and I think for me, I felt really, really thrilled that our relationship felt very human. I feel like the sure. scenes that we got to do were really emotional and felt really invested in a very real way. They didn't feel heightened for a kind of comic book universe for me. And I really, I really loved that actually. Yeah, I think it was really important to get to keep it kind of grounded, you know, and uh, and to do research. You know, I was able to speak to people in the military and talk about what something like this might look like and what how it might be like a facility that was this secret, like how it might be structured and what one would maybe potentially expect from something like this. And uh, and uh, everybody was very kind of game to give opinions and to talk about it, and that was great. And also just to understand what a you know what a two-star general in this kind of circumstance 
you know, how he would interact with people around him and how they would with him and and all of that stuff, I feel like kind of gives it a, a nice kind of envelope of mm -hmm. grounded reality. And from there, you know, you can play into the sort of more fantastical space, yeah. you know, because the stakes feel It's a, it's a, I think it's beautiful. Their, their connection, yeah, is, yeah. Uh, is there's a kind of... I was going to say, yeah, inspirational maybe, yeah. too? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.